In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to make 7 step morph transition effect infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have added 7 rectangular options with different gradient colors. The step 1, I have added the title here. Then you can add your icons within the oval shape and you can add your detailed text. And at the bottom, I have added the shadow and the reflection effect. So let me just show you how the slide works. When I click the focus comes to the first option the size of the first option increases and when I click the focus goes to the second option the size of the option 2 increases and here the step 1 I have put the color as gray color then the focus moves to the step 3 you can see here it has changed the color to gray color grayed out then step 4 step 5 step 6 and step 7 likewise i have added something like this also where the gradient color starting at the bottom so you can make it as per your own color combinations so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide and change the background to light gradient fill then go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes and from rectangles, I'm going to select the second one, the rounded corner, draw a rounded corner in the center, maybe this much width and make it less curved and shape outline, make it no outline and then you can align center, align middle and then you can give some gradient color for that right mouse click, go to format shape and select the gradient fill so by default the background is coming so let me just keep it only two stops so one stop i'm going to select go to more colors and you can select any dark color and on the one side you can select and give some lighter color to it now i'm going to select this and i'm going to reduce the size you can go to format here the height you can make it maybe 2.5 you can see here then again align center align middle let me just close this zoom out and here i'm going to add two oval shape just to place the objects in the proper place or in the right alignment for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape you can see here and then you can just make it align center and i'm going to make it to touch this one you can see here and then press ctrl d to duplicate and exactly put it on the top here you can see here let me just now bring it back now here i'm going to duplicate press ctrl d to duplicate and here i'm going to increase the size you can see here i can hold the alt and i can increase the size you can see here i'm just increasing the size and again press ctrl d one more and increase the size make sure that the corners are touching this one and here i can add three more here so control d make sure that equal spacing is there and last one control d here okay now you can see here i've got this i can just simply delete this one so i have got this one and i'm let me just remove the guides also so you can see here we have got this kind of shape equal shape at the top and the bottom now i'm going to add the oval shape here to add the icons go to insert shapes select the oval shape hold the shift key while dragging this so you get the perfect circle shape here and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give some light color and right mouse click go to format shape go to effects and from the 3d format i'm going to select this one you can see here something like this and if you want you can just reduce the width of this so then i'm just going to press ctrl d just add it one by one in all the for all the options you can see here like this or you want you can just add it in the same line also whichever way you feel better or comfortable you can add it press ctrl d you can see here so you can see i've added all the options and if you want you can just select and align it 
you can just say either top so it becomes all top and you can just drag it somewhat down so once this is done i'm going to add the options here go to insert text box sorry let me just add this comments let me just delete it by mistake i have added the comments go to insert just text box i'm going to say step 01 center align make it bold and put it here you can see here and the font to white press ctrl d so we can just add all the steps here so like one by one press ctrl d and add all the steps something like this and if you have the icons you can insert the icons go to insert icons and remember that this particular feature available only in the latest version of powerpoint if you don't have i have provided a uh, 500 plus free icons in my channel you can just go and search it so i'm randomly i'm just going to search uh, select seven different icons click insert let me just move it here and the size i'm going to make it maybe 0.4 height and width and randomly i'm just going to add one by one here you can see here just add it exactly in the center so this is the just i'm adding some random icons you can see here all these icons has been added here make sure that it is properly aligned and you can give some shadow effect let me just select the circles here hold the shift key and select the circles one by one you can see here and then go to shadow and i'm going to give this one which is offset bottom right and increase the distance so it looks something like this and then you can add some detailed text at the bottom add detail text here maybe center align reduce the font size you can see here and then just add it again you can make it white font also again control d just add one by one you can see here so now i've added all the text and make sure that it is properly aligned and once after this is done i'm going to add the some shadow effect here for that go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline then i'm going to effects not effects sorry i'm just going to select the gradient line and here i'm going to make it again two stops type linear i'm going to change to radial and select the center one from center you can see here here i'm going to select the white color you can see here this one i'm going to just select the background color here i can just use the eyedropper and make the transparency to 100 percent and this also you can increase the transparency a little bit and then you can go to effects soft edges and increase the size so you can see here i've got this shadow effect i can just simply add the shadow effect like this press ctrl d add it for all the options one by one you can see here let me just select ctrl d and then select the shadow one by one by holding the shift key you can see here and then format just send to back and for this i can select this again by holding the shift key i can give the some reflection here so you can see here i can give this reflection so you got something reflection like this now once the design is ready you can just change the color of your choice for example let me just select this go to more colors i can use some dark colors here 
and on the top i can use some light color combination you can see here one by one you can just select and give some different color combination make sure that the color combination looks good though don't select some bad colors there okay and here i'm going to select this and i'm going to select some lighter color so you can see here so likewise you can go and randomly select maybe i'm going to select green color here and this side i'm going to select somewhat lighter green you can see here so different colors of your choice you can just add it here so you can see here i have added i have changed the colors now it's time to do the grouping before doing the animation part so i'm just going to use my you can see here my mouse something like this and the shadow is not affected or uh, not selected so i'm just going to uh, hold the shift key and select the shadow also you can see here let me just select the shadow like this and press ctrl g to group it now you can see here it's one group so likewise i'm just going to select one by one along with the sorry let me just select once again and hold the shift key and select the shadow press ctrl g to group it so after the grouping i'm going to just change the number to step one to step two you can make it three four five six and seven and then i'm just going to add one rectangle outside of the slide area go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much size you can see here which is covering this part again top to bottom you have to take it shape outline no outline and shape fill you can give some uh, gray colors dark gray colors and then send this to back so it looks something like this i'm just going to make this out outside of the slide area now i'm going to duplicate this particular uh, our slide right mouse click and duplicate the slide you can see here and this one i'm going to transition and select the morph transition and make sure that the morph transition is available only in the latest version of powerpoints if you don't have then simply use the this uh, slide only you can use some other normal animations so now this slide so this is my original slide and this is the duplicate slide with the morph i'm going to select this and bring it inside here okay something like this so now example if i do a slide show when i click it comes something like this you can see here so it is coming very slow you can increase the speed maybe you can make it to sorry reduce it to maybe one for example let me just show you it comes something like this and then this one i'm going to increase the size you can hold the shift key and increase the size so it comes something looks something like this okay the other one you can go to format and send this to back also so let me just show you how it looks for example from here you can see here it looks something like this all right now to move to the second one i'm going to duplicate this slide you can see here and then move this one here for this option all right and go to format send this to back you can see here this size you can hold the shift key and reduce it and bring it back to the original place and color i'm going to make it to gray color so that that means this particular option is finished so now i'm going to select this increase the size you can see here i can just hold the shift key and increase the size and even you can just change this color also to the same blue color which we have used all right so let me just play again so you can see here step one comes like this then step two so that the focus comes on the step to increase the size and this has become gray area all right so this also all these things should go to back actually you can see here this one has to go to back so now 
to move to the next one again press ctrl d to duplicate this then i'm moving this one to my third option you can see here and again format send this to back and this hold the shift key reduce the size we can see here and again the color i'm going to make it a gray color all right and this part i'm going to increase the size by holding the shift key you can see here something like this and this one send this to back so let me just play now you can see here first comes second comes third comes like this so you can do the similar thing to the rest of the options That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.